next one is called the midpoint formula. Another way of calculating elasticity, and it's called the midpoint formula. Whichever one you want to use, fine by me. Whichever one you're comfortable using is okay. So the midpoint formula. Here's what this says. It said you want to calculate E of D, don't worry about any new and old and from and to. They said don't worry about that. You want to calculate price elasticity, what you do is take the two quantities and subtract them. Let's take them and subtract them and then divide by the average of the quantities. So don't worry about any new and old. You want to figure out what's in the denominator, take the two prices and subtract them. Don't worry about new and old. And then divide that by the average of the prices. That's all. Take two quantities, subtract them. Divide by the average of the quantities. Take two prices and subtract them. And then divide by the average of the prices. We're going to do our example again using this method so you can see how it works. Let's do that. Let's do the example again. Say, don't worry about any new one, any old. Figure out your two quantities and your two prices, and there you go. So let's do the example again. The example said the price of X went up how much? From two to five. Okay. So quantity demanded. What was it, 15 to 10? Mm -hmm. Increased from 15 to 10. And we're going to use that midpoint formula. We're going to practice with that midpoint one. So, as I said, I like to write my formula. Help me to remember. Midpoint says, take the two quantities. So we wrote the example again. Price of X went up from 2 to 5, so quantity demand decreased from 15 to 10. Midpoint says, take the two quantities and subtract them and divide by the average of the quantities. Take the two prices, track them, divide by the average of the prices. Yeah? What are two quantities? Two and five. Quantities. Uh, five. So, midpoint said, take these two, so track them, divide by the average of the two. Yeah? What are two prices? Five and two. Take the two prices, subtract them, divide by the average of the prices. Nobody remembers how to find averages? How do you find averages? Average. 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 Sum the stuff and divide by the number of stuff that you have. Yes, yeah, so if you want an average, add up all the stuff and then divide by the number of stuff you have. So. Go to the parking lot here. If I want the average of 10 and 15, how do I find that? Add them together. Divide by the number of stuff, which is 2. What is this, 12.5? Yes? If I want the average 5 and 2, what's that? Yes? Which means this Punch that in your calculators and tell me what you did. Doesn't that say ten minus fifteen and we've got ten plus fifteen over there? 
So, what we're trying to do, 10 minus 15, that's the 5 here, we want the average of 10 and 15. What's the, how do you find averages? Add them together and divide by 2. Yes? I see. I so see. that was just for the bottom piece here. Gotcha. Got it? Okay. Punch that in your calculator. Oh. What do you get? I don't see people punching. Your phone is a calculator, FYI. Just not Twitter and Instagram and whatever. <laughs> There's a thing called a calculator on your phone too. You can put it in there. What you guys get? It's not the hardest part of the question, eh? You just put <laughs> numbers in the calculator here. Point four six six. What's that? Point four six six. I'm a trust you. That's confirmed? Yeah. So point four six 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 seven. Yes? <laughs> elastic or inelastic? Different number, but still elastic. It could come out elastic from the two different methods. You never know. Any method you want to choose is fine. You have the percentage change with the new and the old. You have the midpoint formula that says, don't worry about new and old. Two quantities divide by averages of two quantities. Prices divide by averages of two prices. New and old percentage change says it matters where you're coming from and where you're going to. Okay? Which method do you prefer? Prefer, prefer the first one. I kind of like the structure of the new and the old. It forces me to think. But again, in exams, anyone you want to choose, I don't force you to choose. You can choose any method you want to. It doesn't matter to me. Okay? So if somebody calculates it with a percentage change and then you do it with midpoint, you could get different answers. So don't go, hmm. right? Why is that different? They could be different, okay? So which one would be right? As an economist, I prefer percentage change. I think a price increase is different from a price um, decrease. I think it matters in terms of the elasticity, even if it's along the same price range. 